is not the flow of water, it's a flow of energy, which means that the water particle transfers its energy to the next one. The approaching end pressures water on the front of the wave and builds up a gigantic wall of water. The gulf is already charred by a mammoth fireball. What's left is drowned by a tsunami that rolls hundreds of miles inland. The tsunami waves leave the Gulf of Mexico and propagate into the Atlantic Ocean. From ground zero, waves swamp the Caribbean and race north. A peripheral wave 20 feet high reaches New York City. rushes 60 miles inland before finally receding, leaving ruin in its wake. Moving 300 miles an hour, wave speed toward Europe. They hit with size and strength undiminished. Despite warnings, millions refused to flee, unable to fathom such a flood. Now, they lie drowned in the proof. Wait! Come on, shot. A different wave hits the Pacific, a heat wave. All over the world, the temperature reaches 212 degrees, the boiling point of water. No one can grasp it, or stop it, or outrun it. The Baca know nothing of comets from space. To them, it's a curse from heaven they enact a desperate ritual to break the spell. As the mercury rises, Xiang and Noah take cover. As scientists, they're among the few who know what comes next. A storm of fire. What's really going to cause the Earth problems is the high speed ejector that falls all over the Earth. This stuff. Uh, has condensed from the vapor, it forms tiny little particles and rains back into the atmosphere all over the Earth. At the same time, there's a lot of rock debris, fist-sized fragments that, that fall in here and there around the Earth. But the dangerous part is really these small particles. While the particles penetrate the atmosphere, they uh, heat themselves up and that causes thermal radiation that bays the surface. Uh, the, the surface temperatures may rise uh, as high as six or 700 degrees. Uh, that will cause forests to burst into flame. Any unprotected animals, human beings uh, that can't get under cover will uh, essentially be roasted alive. In 
In the wake of a comet impact, a rain of fire. Super hot fallout makes global temperatures unbearable. The only refuge is underground. so hot. How long is it gonna last? Everything will be okay. Sam, come back! Michelle! Sam! It's hotter than Death Valley, and the temperature continues to rise. Fireballs pummel the city. The Vatones find refuge in a subterranean canal. But where do they go from here? Temperatures soar to 700 degrees. Earth is on fire. Everything combustible is consumed. Smoke mixes with dust particles spun out into the atmosphere and cloaks the earth in a noxious veil. The fires give earth its only light. The sun can't pierce the gloom. In a conventional disaster, the developed world responds with rescue, safety, and shelter. But who do you call when the whole world is a disaster? In the case of major natural disasters, the international community immediately mobilizes its resources and delivers emergency aid to the affected areas. This time, that won't be the case, because the infrastructure will simply no longer exist. Help just won't be there. In America, devastation. Within a thousand miles of the comet's impact, life has vanished. Hundreds of miles from ground zero, the landscape is covered several feet high in debris from the impact. Only those who found refuge underground have survived. As the tsunami recedes, fire consumes America's cities. Creatures who found shelter have survived. Fernando and the dogs. His family's fate, unknown. Imagine yourself the last soul on Earth. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the aftermath of catastrophe, the few survivors of the Baca tribe find shelter, but no answers. He looks for a sign. The whole world is homeless, but this is the only home the Baca know. Henri hot wires an abandoned car, a pre-electronics model that survived the electromagnetic pulse. This situation will present extreme challenges for the individual. Because of the scarcity of medical care and food, malnutrition will be a factor. Infectious diseases will very quickly lead to death. Life expectancy overall will sink, but we'll also have huge problems collectively. What stores of knowledge can be retained and how? There's a very great risk of returning to a sort of dark ages. Let's look for the others. You really think you still need those? Yes. Let's go. Lugging yesterday's data and tomorrow's supplies, they search for life. Is Earth a dead rock or a life clock? Life clock. By life clock, you mean that the Earth itself